Hey guys, it's Alexis, aka The Sloth Reader, and I'm here today to do another monthly recommendations video. Monthly recommendations is a Goodreads group, and I will leave the link to that down below. Um, and it's basically just, we have a topic every month, and then we film videos um, where we recommend books under said topic. March's topic is Own Voices. Um, for those of you who don't know, Own Voices basically just means um, a book written by someone who identifies with the marginalized community or the ethnic community or the religious community um, that the book is about. Um, so that would be like, you know, uh, a queer author writing a queer book um, or someone from India writing a book that takes place in India and or is about Indian characters um, and that kind of thing. Um, this is a fantastic topic and I think it's super important to uh, support own voices. Um, I have to admit I was pretty disappointed in myself when I kind of sat down to do this topic that I wasn't like having to cut books out because of I had read so many. So that was a bit of a disappointment for me. Um, overall I think there were a couple books I didn't include because I figured they would be on everybody's list um, and so for that reason I kind of like left them out. Um, more Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera being one. It's a phenomenal story about, you know, um, a queer teen living in the Bronx who is of Latino descent because that's Adam Silvera's story. Um, another one I chose not to include on this list but I still will recommend to you is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin O'Leary Sons um, because it tells the story of two queer teens who are of Latino descent um, and Benjamin O'Leary Sons is Latino as well as he is also queer. So. Those are two fantastic recommendations, um, but I didn't choose to include them on this video um, just because the other books I mentioned I just liked better. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but they're all good recommendations, um, and yeah, I'll just go ahead and get into it. The next book I'm going to mention is one that I consider own voices. I could see where some people wouldn't consider it own voices. I personally do, and that is the Shades of Magic series by Victoria Schwab. The reason I consider this to be own voices is because Victoria Schwab does identify as bisexual and there are two characters in this series who are pretty major characters in the course of the series who do feel attraction to multiple genders and while both of the characters in the story are male and of course she is female, um, being bisexual and being attracted to multiple genders that is an experience I'm assuming that she has written from of her own perspective in that way. Um, the Shades of Magic series basically tells the story of four Londons in four parallel universes and this special breed of magician who can travel between the worlds. Um, the main character's name is Kel and he basically becomes a smuggler and starts smuggling things between the different Londons and it basically gets him into trouble when he smuggles something he shouldn't. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I said, I do consider this own voices because there are two characters who are attracted to multiple genders in the series and Victoria Schwab herself does identify as bisexual. The next book I'm going to mention is a story about a trans teen and that is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Rousseau um, and the author of the story is trans as well as the model on the cover is also a trans female um, and this tells the story of a trans teenager named Amanda who is basically moving to a new town and to a new school. Um, in the story this is um, kind of her first school that she's going to after her transition um, and after something pretty traumatic to her has taken place. So it's basically about her trying to start anew but also still trying to develop her identity in this new place um, as she starts to fall in love with a boy in her grade. Um, and I love this book. Um, I think that it was a very very um, beautiful story. I think it was very um, realistic about a lot of the things the trans community faces but I also feel like it was very uplifting and hopeful and I appreciated that. The next book I'm going to mention is Homegoing by Yaa Jossi um, and this tells the story of two half-sisters in Ghana in the 1700s as one is married to a British white man and the other is sold into slavery in the United States. Um, and so Yaa Jossi herself actually is from Ghana originally um, so the story that takes place in Ghana is very much a part of her own past, but I will also say in another way it also um, is, but it's also uh, own voices in that Yaa Jossi was actually raised in Huntsville, Alabama, 
um, which a huge portion of the story takes place in. So Yaa Jossi also being a person of color in Alabama, also that story in its own way is also own voices to her. Um, and this is a phenomenal novel. If you haven't read it yet, check it out. The next story I'm going to mention is Dreadnought by April Daniels. Um, and this is a story about a trans teenager named Danny who basically witnesses the death of a superhero one day and then is given the superhero's superpowers. And through that, Danny um, is given the dream body, the female body she's always wished for. Um, so basically one day um, she's in the body of a man, um, Dreadnought dies before her, and then she is given the body of a woman. Um, and this book super awesome. It's a beautiful melding of a realistic trans narrative as it is a fantastic superhero story. Um, and I loved this book so 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 much. I'm so excited for the second one. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for more own voices trans stories, I highly 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 recommend Dreadnought by April Daniels. The next story I'm going to mention, I feel like I'm going through these really fast. I think it's because it's really hot in my room and I'm in this long sleeve dress and I kind of just want to take it off. The next story I'm going to mention is Incantation by Alice Hoffman, and this basically tells the story of a teen named Estrella Madrigal, and it's basically um, takes place during the Spanish Inquisition when she discovers that her family are actually Jewish and they have pretended to convert to Christianity to avoid the Inquisition, and it's kind of about how she's falling in love with a boy for the first time while also discovering these secrets about her family. Um, of course, this is own voices because Alice Hoffman is Jewish and she is, um, her ancestors were Jewish, obviously, um, but Alice Hoffman is Jewish so this does count as own voices because this is the history of uh, Alice Hoffman's religious group um, and so um, for that reason it is. The next one I'm going to mention is Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress by Da Tsojie. And this basically tells the story of two teens who are sent to a re-education program in Mao's Cultural Revolution in China. Um, and it's basically about them reading like contraband books um, and falling in love with a girl who is, um, you know, who dreams of something bigger. And the author, um, Dai Tzujie, um, who is um, from uh, China, he was born in uh, Sichuan province, and it's basically, um, he actually lived a story very similar to this where um, he actually lived through Mao's Cultural Revolution and actually experienced the re-education program that many youths at the time went through. Um, and so this very much is own voices because it is very much crafted from his story, though it is not a memoir, it is a fictionalized story. The final book I'm going to mention is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, and of course, The Sun is Also a Star tells the story of two uh, teens who are the son and daughter of immigrants. Um, Daniel, who is the son of Korean immigrants, and Natasha, who is the daughter of illegal Jamaican immigrants. Um, and the reason that this story in particular is own voices is because Nicola Yoon herself is actually the daughter of Jamaican immigrants to the United States. So obviously a lot of the Jamaican uh, history and a lot of the Jamaican culture and a lot of the youth immigrant experiences that are talked about in this book, I would imagine, are very personal to Nicola Yoon and are possibly, you know, from her own experiences or from experiences of people that she possibly has known. Um, and so yes, for that reason it's obviously very much a story um, that is own voices. Alright guys, so that was my monthly recommendations video for March, which was of course Own Voices. Again, um, I wish and I am ashamed of myself that I wasn't, that this list wasn't 20 books long. Um, uh, all in all, I've probably only read about 10 or 11 Own Voices books um, that I enjoyed. I mean, there's probably a couple that I just didn't like, so I don't have them, obviously, and I wouldn't recommend them. But these ones, I highly, highly recommend. Each one of them I really, really loved um, in their own way. Some of them are even a little sentimental to me. You guys should let me know down below maybe what is your favorite own voices novel. But I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!